Hello, my name is Mr. Miller. I'm from Marshall Middle School. Here today to try to learn how to model simple addition and subtraction problems with algebra blocks or algebra tiles. So, first thing we need to start with is we have two things, two numbers, two integers. We're going to limit ourselves to integers today, and we're going to either add or subtract them. So each of these items has a possible sign, either it's a plus or a negative, positive or negative. This could be a positive or a negative. And then there is a, either we're going to add them together or we subtract the second from the first. So there's two possibilities. We'll allow for either of those. Now here we have our sign and our first item. Well, the thing that we know about the first item is it will always involve adding tiles to our board, to our algebra block board. So, we look here, in this case, let's say we have a three, and let's say that's a positive three. So we know that we will add three blocks to the positive side of the board. So I'll mark that off with those three squares. So we've, we've got three blocks on the positive side of the board. Next, either we can add things to the board or remove them. In this case, we're going to work on removing items. Then, we have to look at what is it we're adding or removing? In this case, we'll look at four. And where are we removing them from? In this case, we'll remove them from the positive side of the board. So to start to finish, it looks like this. We add three items to the positive side of the board. And then we need to take away four items from the positive side of the board. So I look here and I say one, two, three. I can't do this function yet. I can't perform this activity. So until I have four blocks, I can't remove them from this side. So I need to get another block up here. In order to do that, I do that as a zero pair. If I add one to the left, I gotta add one to the right to keep it balanced. They zero each other out. And then, so I've added three to the positive side of the board. I'm going to remove four from the positive side of the board. I indicate which blocks I want to remove. And then I put an arrow pointing away from the board, removing them. Then I look at what's left. In this case, I have only one block on the negative side of the board. So I would know that three minus four equals a negative one. It may sometimes sound complicated, but if you do one step at a time, one operation at a time, no matter how difficult, whether these are numbers, integers, fractions, or variables, it doesn't matter what it is, it's inside here. So we add three, I, three integers to the positive side of the board. We take away four, in this case, from the positive side of the board, and we use our zero pairs to enable us to remove that fourth block. Leaves us with one block on the negative side of the board. 